Hello once again and today we're going to be taking a look at and doing a short tutorial on how to set up your Atari 800 Win Plus 4.1 XL XE 8-bit emulator. It's not straightforward like a Commodore 64 emulator, no. You've got to set um, ROMs up first for it so let's get straight underway. Um, so basically what you've got to do first is go to Atari ROM images. So here we've got to select ROMs for OSA, OSB, XL, X, XE, 520, 200 and BASIC. I've got all the ROMs fortunately and they're all um, under one place so it's going to be easy. So first things first, OSA. So here we are, all, here we are, all of them here. So Atari OSA. So you do OSB, um, XL, XE, 5200, and BASIC. So I've got a choice of BASIC for Rev A, Rev B, or Rev C. So we can have Rev C. So now we've set all this up, it's all ready. Cartridge is something you don't have to worry about. Um, but to play games, you have to do this. So now it's in the self-test mode. So use F2 for this. I don't know what's that. F1 is reset. F3 scrolls down. So we'll do an audio visual. Right, so we know our um, Right, we know the sounds are working, so let's have a look at F3, go down the keyboard. So this is a good way to check your key maps. So, especially with the keys that you don't know what's assigned. That is assigned, so that's correct. Oh, that, some might be a bit weird, but that's not signed properly. Now that is because I'm using the actual comma full stop. Obviously the PC keyboard got a lot more keys than an i bit computer does. So if you shift, yep that works. Yeah so this is a good way to sort out your key maps. Uh, so we're F1 for reset. So let's basically have a look at some other options. So we've got file auto boot image, so basically, right, this is where you can load up your games, so look for the games, emulators, so that's where all my games are saved, as you see I've got quite a lot of games, <laughs> uh, so let's stream for that too, alright we'll just choose a game at random, that'll do. And it loads up. So when you reset for some reason, every time you um, turn off the emulator and restart it, it, it loads up the last thing you've got in um, the auto boot image. Um, so let's where's reset. So we do a warm reset, and it comes back to that. If you go like that, reset, do a cold reset, then it no. Maybe detach disk. Right, now you detach the disk and you do um, a cold reset. Now it should go back to that screen. Yes, it does. So you've got to detach it. Make sure you detach your um, image. So let's file uh, um, auto boot, which we've seen. I don't want to load ex probably executional files, attach disk, detach disk, just say you've got a multi-disk, um, tape. Um, I think you might have to go into basic for tape, but we're not going to look at tape because I'm pretty new to this emulator myself. Um, perhaps more XLXE or Atari 8 bits users will know. Um, low state, save state, that's save. If you're in the middle of a game, you can save your state. Obviously, X is the emulator, Atari. A machine type so we can choose the OSA, the OSB, that's what we're on, XLXE, I'll keep it on that. As I say, 
more enthusiastic Atari owners will probably know what that is memory size you can allocate whatever memory you want from 16k to 64k obviously you can probably do that in different machines so you can have up to 576 or 1088k um, Rambo well video system obviously we're in a power region so we keep it on power settings let's have a look at settings here disable basic when booting Atari so that seems we could probably disable that screw the basic um, no it's already disabled oh. okay I wonder why I haven't drawn one we might enable it let's see it's probably because um, I don't know the tape commands anyway so there will be no point so we've got more options here so these are, this is for more experienced users I'm not an experienced user all I care about is loading games so so performance yeah I wouldn't touch any of this um, options what's your options full speed is it not running for oh I don't know disable basic what's full speed I thought it was running at full speed I don't know maybe I should change that right ROM images well we've done that disk drives so we've got to choice of 8 disk drives um, tape recorder right I'll bring up our tape recorder that's interesting um, hard disks you can attach a hard disk to it that's very you never known of an 8 bit computer do this and you reset you obviously got your warm or your cold reset inputs now joysticks now you can set up your joystick if you want it's pretty easy you can either um, I've already got my joystick interface already plugged in but if you want to directly use your joystick you just go to that um, we can um, num use your numpad arrow keys right control is fire key set A you can um, change whatever keys you want so I'm going to refund my own keys key set A yeah okay so here I'm going to configure it for num numeric keypad so so let's go to 8 if, so you just configure whatever you want so then you've got to do the diagonals as well right here is more of a centre thing but I don't want that to be a centre I want to configure that as my fire button so what we're going to do is go to fire button and click five so it's in the middle and this is your right center so i can click zero for that because i want it to be the fire button in the middle so now we've done that now that is now my joystick that is set to my joystick you can choose it all the way far on or off so i don't want it all the way far on um so that's done so advance obviously this is more for um, experience um Atari 8 bit users I don't know nothing about that so I clicked OK now I've got my joystick working and my ROMs working so I can load up um, disk images on my emulator so I'm happy with that I'll leave it as that um, so now you've got other options auto fire off yeah capture mouse you can use a mouse by the looks of it mouse mouse device options here keyboard so you can choose you probably choose different things about your keyboard not going to touch it um, network game that's interesting arrow keys arrow, yeah. view graphics options right it defaults when you load it it defaults at 336 by 240 but I've changed mine to 672 by 480e obviously you can have different modes but they're not highlighted for some reason so you can change all these different options if you want to um, full screen if you want to use full screen GDI for windows show set, uh, drive activity set to counters I don't know what that's done but it ain't really done nothing perhaps it will when I load up something I don't know um, don't want to do stretching I want to keep it like this artifacting uh, palette let me show you the color palette or you can change the color palette if you want 
I wouldn't recommend it. Save screenshot so you basically can, if you've got um, a title page or whatever you want to do a quick screenshot at, you can just save it. No more interlaced. Save save videos so you can record. Print screen so you want to print to your printer, I think. Performance test. Nah. Now sound options. Direct sound, wave out, yeah. So your volume control, mute sound playback, sound stereo or mute, save sound performance test, hit return, 60 passes, alright, whatever that means. So we've done our, so we've got our, done our test, it sounds do work. File allocation association, I don't know what that does, convert, ROM, nah, things I don't want to touch. Net, clear, all settings, restart, restart emulation, view log file, disable collisions, cheat options. <laughs> Interesting. To say our game's too hard, monitor, I don't want to monitor. When Atari crashes, ask what to do, open monitor, stop emulation. Okay, and you've got your out topics here, keyboard layout. Oh my god, didn't want to do that. Failed to launch help. Oh, I don't know. Set up wizard. Yeah, so basically if you want to... Here we go. I don't know what that does, but basically all you need to do is um, important the most important thing is to set up your ROMs and it's got to be in that order you got to obviously you probably if you're only using the XLXC you only have to worry about the XLXC ROMs and the basic ROM that's it really but I don't know I've not tried the OSA OSB and the 5 200 um, everything I want to use is on the XLXC it's a good emulator. It is a good emulator. Um, so yeah, a lot I use a lot of emulation. I don't have real hardware. I do. I have an Amstrad TPC four six four and a Commodore sixty four, but they were given to me. So, but I don't really use them because I don't have any decent capture devices. So emulation is all the way with me. So, but remember, you got to do the setup and your joystick if you want to use joystick. So that's it, really. Thank you so much for watching, till next time, and goodbye.